Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. Bring guys and gals, DI Moon, we're on episode 8. Um, I got nothing really to say in the pre-stream. I know we're supposed to be getting a Kanako and Nagumo type of episode this week, right? Um, hearing more about how they met. At least that's what I remember briefly from the preview. So if that is where we're going to get this episode, I'm all for it. Kanako, my one of my favorite characters. She might be my favorite character. But one of my favorite characters. Her and Nagamu, I do hope that they become a couple again. That's that's my, my hope. But we'll see what's going to happen. So smash that like button. is really appreciated. We're going to begin. We're going to start in... Five, four, three, two, one. Honestly, the, the, I, for those who don't know, I just watched Rising the Shield here, and the episode triggered me in a sad way. Um, so I need some happy vibes from Diamond. I, I want the opening. The opening always gets me in a good mood. Ooh, Connor caught her job. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't hear anything. I just realized my volume was down. In terms of like my computer volume, not not me. What? That's crazy. I thanks for the <laughs> I oh no, thank you for the information. <laughs> The struggles, the struggles, but it's a struggle we all know too well. She came for love. She came for love. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. Love this opening. Ah, uh, this, this, honestly, the opening, I'm already in a good mood. I love this opening so much, guys. It's, it's so chill and so unlike, you no. Know, but this is, this is the type of opening I need for this type of a show. The opening just me so happy because the vibes are just so chill and it fits the show very well. It's like, it's very deep, contemplative, but ultimately happy. It's like there's sadness in there. But hope. You downloaded a different book. As anyone, as anyone here on Twitch chat, has anyone, or even for you, those on YouTube side, has anyone seen Bubble yet? I've been hearing some good things about it. I've been hearing good things about Bubble, so I want to watch it as well. Um, I'll find it online. Maybe I'll watch Bubble on Friday. Maybe I'll watch Bubble for bed on Friday before I go on my vacation. We'll see. We'll see. I was debating if I'm going to bring my um, laptop when I leave. So, for, I don't know if this is for everyone. Those on the YouTube side will get this as well. I'm going on a trip Friday to Monday because we have Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. So, I'm going to try and take a little trip. But I might take my computer, so I might stream a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. You never heard of Bubble? Oh, check it out. Check out the trailer for Bubble, everybody. It's very, it's very pretty looking. I'll give it that. I don't know how the story is going to be, but um, very beautiful. The other bubble is so cringe. <laughs> Was the other bubble animated? See, she knows it's a misunderstanding. See, we all know it's a misunderstanding in Nagamu. Okay, let's get this from her perspective. I'm glad at least Conical realizes that she's being stubborn. I 
as I said before, I think that in the case of Kanako, and I apologize everybody, but in the case of Kanako, she overreacted. And she knows that she overreacted. What the? Oh, is how they first met? She knows that she overreacted in the situation at the end of the day. But as I said before, it was a misunderstanding. We'll get cleared up. But her, she has to speak to Nagumo about it. She has to. And we know that she came to Kyoto for this. She wasn't going to go to Kyoto otherwise. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Mizu. Mizu. Look at my boy. Tipsy, drunk, whatever he is, and he still manages to help. Good man. Who's Shinjuku? That's facts. That goes for all people, by the way. Very dangerous. Drink moderately. That he did. Good man. Nagum was just a good man. <laughs> How do you know you'll even meet again? Huh? It was meant to be, guys. Chad Nagum. This was this relationship was meant to be. It was meant to be. He's been gotta get rid of these chestnut hats though. She's like, oh gosh. This man looks like he's in the Beatles but with chestnut hats. I'm telling you guys, I agree. It's fade. It was fade all along. Yeah, stop trying to make her drink. Oh, I love this. Guys, I ship them so much. I ship them all the way. Nagumo and Kanako forever. You know, honestly, my favorite lady you know, in the couple rankings, Nagumo and Tanako need to be moved up in the couple rankings. Wholesome, wholesome relationship. Oh, they got themselves. Are they were they engaged? Did I miss that fact? And he has me, but. Exactly. I told you this is exactly where Conoco is coming from. And while it's not good, I understand it. I fully understand where she was going here with this. And it wasn't good on her part. But she just wanted Nagamu to chase her a bit. She just wanted him to chase her a little bit. And he didn't do it. He left. And that crushed her. Because she never wanted to lose him to begin with. But she acted childish. Mm hmm. Until later on, he heard of his dad. Yeah, because then afterwards, he had to like rush once he heard that he was injured. Yeah. And then that's where he just dipped. I love how self aware Kanako is about the whole situation, though, by the way. Like, she's not in denial or anything. She recognizes her faults in the situation, that she handled things wrong. She understands how she feels about Nagumo, even till this point. 
Um, she doesn't make excuses, which I think is nice. Doesn't mean she can actually act on it now fully. Um, because things are a little bit awkward. And she did technically break up with him. But yeah. Okay. Just like, nah, not us. I can't believe this fall already for them. It was just spring the other day. And then summer. Now it's fall. Oh no, his chestnut hat. His chestnut hat. He's cause just like, I hope you never get this thing back again. That's just your normal outfit. She's like, ugh. <laughs> oh, that's so true. That's probably what happened. That's exactly what probably happened with the chestnut hat. Because all the stuff with Itsuka's mom happened, then things just got thrown off. Bingo. To the fire. Burn it. Just burn the chestnut. To make roasted ch chestnuts. Most likely. But he's our idiot. He's our idiot. We love you, Nagumo. Best boy. Oh, so they didn't get rid of it. Watch it not be the chestnut. Feels too easy. Feels too easy. Someone took it. Someone took it. <laughs> Nagumo's like, oh no. It's like, ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. It's gone. It's gone. Done. Just get a new hat. It's over. It's over. He's done. We've lost Nagumu. He's done. Loss of hope indeed. Maybe Itsuka finds it. No, Conical is going to somehow find it. This man's putting out a whole thing for the chestnut. He loves the chestnut. I get him though, because if you have something that you really treasure and love like that, it's sad when you lose that, especially the way he did. Good questions. Hmm? The fours? Yeah, the bandmates are like, oh no. What the? Asobi Brewers.
it's kind of funny that we have chestnut lore now. I agree, Leewick. We have chestnut lore now in this series. I don't think I've ever had manju. Don't think I have. This is such a weird story. Chestnut manju. Uh, I mean, I'm glad they like their name. I'm not a fan of Chestnut Manju as the name. Space Chestnut Manju would have been even worse. That's why it matters. So it's not even about getting another one. That Chestnut's been with him through everything when he was in the band, and that's all he has left now to even think of the band. Oh, really? I love him. I'm telling you guys, I have an eye for these things. Kanoko is going to find it. Or she's going to find a way to get him another one. Oh, wait a second. She called one of his bandmates. I like where this is going. He's like, enough of the small talk. Mm-hmm. He loves the chestnut. You guys gotta get it back for him. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. He did leave her behind pretty easily, but that's in her perspective. He'd been worried the whole time. Oh. He always, he never wanted to leave. He never wanted to leave the bakery. Yo, he has some really good friends. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's exactly it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You clearly went to Kyoto for something. I'd argue he's changed for the better. Nothing wrong with that. You've changed as well. The old you probably wouldn't go to Kyoto. Nago Sanagumu, though. Mm-hmm. Yo, guys, can we get this man a medal? What's his name? So? Am I getting the name right? Whoever he is, give him a medal. Best wingman ever. I love this man. Come on, Kanako. You know what you gotta do. You know what you gotta do. If she ends... <laughs> I won't be able to deal. She ends up with if she asks if she does something in this episode confessing feelings or still having feelings for Nagum, I will scream. It's not gonna happen though. I know it's not going to happen, but I'm hopeful. Kurobozu. 
Umi Bozu. I remember Umi Bozu from an anime. Umi Bozu. Oh, this is Gintama. I'm thinking of Umi Bozu. Kage's father, yeah. I hear Umi Bozu. I was like, I know this name. Like, why do I know Umi Bozu? It's like Kage's father. By the way, everyone, watch Gintama. Great show. Great show. I was wrong. I guess Itsuko's going to get it. And she's in trouble. I knew it. I knew it. The chestnut. Oh, maybe I was right. It will go to Kanako. It's going to land right on her. I can't believe she tripped. <clears throat> What's about to happen? <sighs> These guys are something else. No. Okay, now give these to their moment. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, they have the chestnuts. Mm-hmm. She's like, not anymore. She's like, I've changed. I like, I like, exactly. I need my ship to take off. I need the ship to happen. I love them. I need this. That's all I need. I told you it wasn't going to happen this episode. I told you it wouldn't happen this episode, though. Very good episode. Lesson of the episode, Kanako is precious. Lesson of the episode, Kanako... I can't say Kanako is the best character in the show because that's Nagumu because I love Nagumu and I love Itsuka. Um, but Kanako is easily one of my, if not my favorite character. I love everything about Kanako. And as I said before, I, I like flawed characters as well. Um, especially those who are flawed but they recognize their flaws. So that's why when I, again, I look at Kanako and the way that she did things in this episode, like in the past, and she knows she messed up and she owns up to it and now she's trying to move forward. And it's a process, but she's trying. I, I respect that so much. Kanako face when she saw him for the first time. She, now, she had a very legitimate reaction, as anyone else should react, if you see the person you like with a chestnut for a head. Oh, I feel so much better. I'm in such a happy mood now. Move forward equals please go back to him. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that, that's it. That's what we need. Forward progression for her, given where her feelings are, is get back together with him. He, he would get back together with you, is my assumption. It's all misunderstanding. But yeah, I feel much better after this episode, everybody. Well, they multiplied. The chestnuts multiplied. They have four to Donwin. Make sure you give it back. Oh, from the bandmates. This is Japan. Oh. 
Oh, is it both their birthdays? What? Oh, it's both their birthdays. So this is the case. That's why she's just like, oh shoot, I can't wait for this. This will be nice. This show never fails to put me into a good mood. It truly never fails. I feel happy. I feel good. I feel happy, everybody. So um, with that, we're going to end this here. But I, I will say for the last time, Kanako, love her character. Absolutely love, respect her character. And we can all agree once again that Kanako was wrong. Nagamu was wrong as well um, in his own way. There were misunderstandings. But ultimately, Kanako may have been wrong. But her following her heart, bring herself back to Kyoto or to Kyoto to be of Nagumu, um, clearly wanting something out of it. She just has to keep taking those steps forward, just has to keep moving forward. Um, and she'll be good. And she'll be good. As Rocky Balboa once said, it's not about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning's done. I don't know why rocking came to my head, but anyway, everyone, I'm, that's a sign that I'm tired and I need to go to bed. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you like my content, greatly appreciate it as always. And with that, I'm Leonard and I'm out. Take care and have a good one. Peace.